Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to send alerts from TradingView to Discord using webhooks only in 3 minutes. So I'm going to open my browser and search Discord. This is Discord, just click on login and if you don't have an account, register. So this is my Discord account. I'm going to create a server by clicking on this plus button. You can create as many servers as you want. I'm going to click on uh, create my own and skip. Now I'm going to change my server. I can also let it be like this. But I'm going to change the name. Now I'm going to upload an image here, of course, you can do it without an image. And create. This is my server. So now I'm going to delete these channels and categories to start fully from the beginning. Right click and delete. As well, right click delete. And delete. Now I'm going to click on my server and create channel. Name my channel and create. So this is my channel. Uh, for uh, creating webhooks, I need to go to my channel settings, interrogations part, and I can see here webhooks, create webhook. This is the webhook. I can change the name or I can let it be like this. I'm going to change the name. Save and copy URL. Now I'm going to paste it on trading view alert section. Here is the webhook URL. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so in order for a Discord to send your uh, alert, a message needs to be written in JSON. I'm going to show you an example for it. So, opening curly bracket, space, quote, content, quote, space, Colon, space, quote. Now the message, by And quote, space. Closing curly bracket. I'm going to change the price. So the alert is sent quicker. Here is the alert. I'm going to open my channel to see if I have it. We have it. Okay, so basically this is the end of the video for sending webhooks to um, Discord. Uh, but I'm going to show you now more about Discord. Okay, so I'm going to go and create a new alert, copy this message and paste it when I create a new alert. Paste it here. And I'm going to uh, click on this question mark here. These are other commands that we can use, such as exchange, ticker, price, I'm going to copy it and so here I'm going to write 
one minute as for one minute time frame and paste it right here I'm just gonna add the time so this is the command for the time this is the time which uh, the alert is sent paste okay so again i'm going to change the price so the alert is sent quicker and if you have the alert here i'm going to check my channel and here is the alert with the price and time and everything now i'm going to show you a page in which you can see more about webhook resources on discord now i'm gonna open my browser and type discord developer webhook and click on webhook discord developer portal you can see webhook resources a lot more so these are other commands i use content Here you can see content. But you can also use the other ones. You can see there are a lot of them. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my Discord and invite someone to my channel by clicking on this icon here this is the invite link i'm going to manage it the time limit and how many times it can be used one time and i'm going to copy it and send it by email this is another pc in which i i show you with another user okay so i'm going to choose the email and paste the invite send So here is the invite, here it is, and I'm going to go back to my channel and accept the invite by clicking on the link and accepting it here. And you can see the user joined. Now I'm going to test it and write a message with the user that just joined. okay so uh, we have the message 
Now I'm going to show you the permission section by going to the channel section, settings, and the permission here you can see and we can manage the permissions here i'm going to for example switch off the permission to send message in this channel so the other users can send any message in the channel uh, so if any users join my channel they can type anything at all so save changes now i'm going to test it you can see the other user can't write anything okay so now i'm going to show you how you can create other channels or categories as i said before for creating channels you need to click on your server and here create channel this channel will appear in your server but also you can create categories by clicking on create category. I'm going to create one and name it crypto. Create and I'm going to create another one and name it Forex okay create so another way for creating channels is to click on this plus button mm, this channel will appear under the category the specific category uh, which you clicked on i'm gonna create a channel for crypto for example and choose a name for it create channel you can see it appeared under it and another channel for forex create and yeah so we can also have webhooks for every single channel we make by going into integrations and you see webhook here i'm going to go to the other channel and here we have another webhook okay so this is it so as i said before uh for deleting the uh, channels and categories we need to right click on them and delete them right click on the channel and delete channel forex right click on it and delete right click delete and i'm going to delete this one too so for deleting the server we should go to the settings i'm going to copy the name here you can see delete server and we need to paste the name delete server i don't have any servers now for deleting the account here is delete and disable and also log out so here is the end of the video thank you for watching and if you have any questions make sure to comment down below so i can help you with them